दिल मांगे मोह तीन सौ पिचहत्तर इतना एग्जिबिटर्स मजा आएगा क्या इतना होना चाहिए कि बार हजार बार <laughs> एक अब्दुल कलाम ऊपर एरोप्लेन देखते हैं और कहां से कहां पहुंच जाते हैं तो हमारे यहां तो हजारों अब्दुल कलाम की अपॉर्चुनिटी है ना देश में वी ऑलरेडी डिड अ वेरी गुड डेमोक्रेटाइजेशन प्रोसेस बाय ओपनिंग 105G हंड्रेड फाइव जी लैब बाय एसोसिएटिंग विद वन हंड्रेड फोर यूनिवर्सिटीज इन द सेमी कंडक्टर मिशन फोर जी वॉज गुड सक्सेस फाइव जी वॉज अ रोरिंग सक्सेस आई वुड लाइक ऑल ऑफ यू टू गिव अ बिग हैंड फॉर द एंटायर टेलीकॉम इंडस्ट्री फॉर हैविंग सच अ ग्रेट फाइव जी रोल आउट बाय पेइंग अ टोकन अमाउंट ऑफ वन थाउजेंड रुपीज दे गेट द परमिशन टू टेस्ट दैट वॉज द हॉट प्रोसेस विद विच the regulatory sandbox was designed in case of micron the construction started within 100 days of the approval the world is today taking note of it the world wants to come to india the world is really really keen on coming to india now i request honorable minister sir to kindly curtain raise on wtsa 2024 mass development in ict sector as the world's second largest telecom market of 1.17 billion subscribers with 931 million smartphone users and indigenous 4G and 5G stack have helped in delivering state of the art telecom services to its citizens countries come together under the umbrella of international telecommunication union or ITU to decide on policies regulations and standards for telecom and ICT Standards play a critical role in development of telecom products and services. These standards are developed by member states and other ITU members. India has been a founding member of ITU and has contributed to the development of telecom standards. India has a vibrant standardization ecosystem. Little wonder that India stands at an important position in international standardization by virtue of its contribution for innovative well researched solutions and standards india is proud to be instrumental in developing 5g i standards of itu this makes india a natural partner in realizing the vision of itu as a connected society and accomplishing the sustainable development goals 2030 using telecom and icts itu ke sath bhi future technologies ke standardization ke liye milkar ke kaam karenge ITU की वर्ल्ड टेली कम्युनिकेशन स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन असेंबली अक्टूबर में दिल्ली में ही आयोजित की जाएगी इन दिस एंडेवर इंडिया इज प्रिविलेज टू होस्ट वर्ल्ड टेली कम्युनिकेशन स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन असेंबली ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी फोर्थ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर Preceded by Global Standards Symposium on 14th October 2024 at Bharat Mandapam in New Delhi. Another step towards a better nation, a better country. Ladies and gentlemen, after a very successful seventh edition of IMC 2024, we are all set for the eighth edition IMC 2024, which is scheduled in October. This year, IMC is poised to go beyond conventional, focusing not just on 5G and 6G technologies. but we will be focusing on a much related topic domains like artificial intelligence and quantum computing i request honorable minister sir to kindly raise curtain on imc 2024 Embarking on the journey of innovation india has etched its name in the technological revolution we are in an era where each challenge presents an opportunity to turn dreams into reality In the recent years India has ascended to new heights as a global electronics exporter rising semiconductor power connectivity game changer global digital transformer next generation standard setter startups accelerator and technology employment enabler the vision of our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi has positioned india where we are today and will guide us towards a vikasit bharat we are all set to take off on the journey of realizing this dream at india mobile congress 2024 as asia's premier technology festival 
IMC 2024 will bring together more than 350 exhibitors and over 400 thought leaders. Along with more than 8,000 industry delegates, they will share their best technologies and innovations with over 1,50,000 attendees across a sprawling 35,000 square meters of dazzling displays. Through immersive showcases and insightful discussions, the event will explore emerging domains such as 5G, 6G, AI, quantum computing, broadcasting, circular economy, satellite communication, semiconductors, and more. Aiming to foster innovation and the entrepreneurial spirit among young minds, Aspire at IMC 2024 will attract over 400 startups from various domains, along with more than 100 investors and businesses to catalyze transformation and collaboration. Join us at India Mobile Congress 2024 as we come together to lead the world. Let's get together at Asia's biggest technology festival, India Mobile Congress 2024. Now moving ahead to enable a hassle-free regulatory environment for innovation in telecommunication technologies, Spectrum Regulatory Sandbox Wireless Test Zone will be unveiled today. And I request Honorable Minister Sir to kindly unveil the, the policy of spec the exporter of technology from the importer of technology. And this policy will play a very vital role Spectrum Regulatory Sandbox. Now moving ahead, ladies and gentlemen, DOT has collaborated with Ericsson for the Ericsson Educate program designed to enhance digital skills for students. And we will be exchanging the agreements today. And for that, I would like to request Mr. Nitin Bansal, MD Ericsson India, and Mr. Robert Ravi, DDG SRI DOT, to kindly join us on the dais in the presence of Honorable Minister Sir to exchange the agreements. Last year, when we started the IMC creation, the curtain raiser and all, we set a benchmark uh, which was exceeded, but still it is not satisfied. Dil mange mohan. 375 itna exhibitors maza aega kya? Itna hona chahiye. Ki baar, hajar baar. Karenge hai. Ek hajar ka target leke chale hai. Hajar exhibitors toh honi chahiye na? Nahi toh maza kya? 200, 300, 150, 350. Now, let's take a little bit of a thumb. Let's take a little bit of a target. Number one. Right? Second, many organizations who are basically tech-oriented organizations like NASCOM, in all of them, ICA, MAIT, in all of them, now we must make an integral part of the IMC. Has anyone come from the MAIT? Might say MAIT. Nay, I. NASCOM say? Nay, I. ICA say? Up at him, Mohindra Saab. So, in sub ko bhi, apna integral part banai. Okay with that? Hmm? Banana chi? When we are calling it Asia's biggest tech uh, conference or uh, exhibition event, then we should get all the tech companies involved in it. I would uh, like to suggest at least three, NASCOM, MAIT, and ICA. But I would like you to get into EV, connected cars, people who are into IoT devices. Practically, the entire tech which is basically getting serviced by telecom. Can we get all those organizations in our journey of IMC? If that is a goal, then we should look at something like 15 organizations jointly organizing it. 15 organizations ka ek joint organize, jointly isko organize karne ka, that kind of target we should take. Then only we will be able to reach that 1000 mark. That's okay. Yeh hum target leke chalte 15 organizations. 
1000 exhibitors 15 organizations third this is also a momentous year for us because every 4 years when the technology is at a at an inflection point the entire world sits together and thinks what should going forward so the world telecom standards assembly will be done will be organized in india this year now that should be an opportunity for igniting the minds of all our youngsters in a very big way i would say that every college every engineering college in the country we must reach out to them we must try to get say even if we get 50 students from a college those students should be made part of the discussions which are going on during wtsa ek abdul kalam upar aeroplane dekhte hain aur kahan se kahan pahunch jate hain to hamare yahan to hazaron abdul kalam ki opportunity hai na desh mein let's ignite those minds let's get those collect those brains let attract those youngsters get that energy out here aur un sab ko let's give them the exposure which they would have never gotten living within their campuses or living within the cities to ye target lete hain we already did a very good democratization process by opening 105g labs by associating with 104 universities in the semiconductor mission correct by modifying the course curriculum for ai practically every technology program that we are doing we are involving students right at the college level right in their formative years so that helps the students that helps the nation and that will create the kind of uh, energy which will help us take india to a next level so i would recommend that this time in the imc and wtsa we should take a target of about 500 colleges throughout the country so that we can do it in a very methodical way all the logistics transportation staying all those things can be managed in a better way so we'll include railways as a part of that and then we can practically at least 5000 we can organize a quiz or something those uh, students who qualify in the quiz they can be invited here aisa karke ek humko karna chahiye we are really at a cusp of uh, technology change at this point of time and this cusp is going to be the defining year for our country because our prime minister's vision is very clear he has given us a clear mandate that we have to become leaders in telecom whatever happened in the 2g and 3g era keep that behind 4g was good success 5g was a roaring success i would like all of you to give a big hand for the entire telecom industry for having such a great 5g roll out congratulations you guys you did very well all of you really did very well so now that we have that base behind us time to really think very big and i think the innovation of regulatory sandbox i think that will go a long way in creating this kind of environment is regulatory sandbox mein basically we will be giving very easy permission a very easy portal based permission system where let's say a college in nagpur or a college in coimbatore they design something a new kind of radio or design a new equipment which has which requires a spectrum to be used for testing instead of coming to the department of telecom for a license then n number of license conditions then a series of other kind of requirements can we create a very simple construct in which the college simply logs in through a portal and everything that needs to be done is done and by paying a token amount token amount of 1000 rupees 
by paying a token amount of 1000 rupees they get the permission to test the equipment that was the thought process with which the regulatory sandbox was designed i am very happy that today it has been launched i would like the request the secretary saab to uh, discuss with the higher education secretary and uh, together create awareness about it in the educational institutions create awareness about it in the universities let people understand what it is let there be some small audio visual uh, uh, properties which content which you can then propagate and let some sort of workshops also can be organized virtual workshops can be organized where the students are able to understand and the faculty is also able to understand i'll request the tsps also to take it forward because ultimately this is going to be your talent pipeline right these are the kids who are going to work in your uh, new innovative solutions the second thing which has been done today is um there was a very difficult kind of construct a very small reform very small structural reform but it goes a long way there was a wireless operating license basically it means if there is a telecom service provider that telecom service provider has to get about let's say 1 lakh 5g radios for operating the wireless device they they had to take a wireless operating license that has been done away with it was done away with a few months back and formalizing it we are formalizing it today so the wireless operating license will not be required so friends these are very exciting times i am sure more and more such innovative ideas and reforms will come in the coming days i will look for ideas from all the participants from the acad from the academia from industry from equipment manufacturers and we are also making good progress in parallel on a semiconductor journey as you are aware three large projects were approved by honorable prime minister recently and uh, like the micron project this to this time too we will make record and uh, within a few practically a few weeks of the approval the actual construction will start in case of micron the construction started within 100 days of the approval and in this case also in in the case of these three projects also we'll have exactly similar thing the world is today taking note of it the world wants to come to india the world is really really keen on coming to india and we are the ones who have to enable it so come forward with any more reform ideas that you would like to have and make this imc a great success thank you